Hey, Mike. Hey, son. How's it going? And hey to everybody watching the third video of this theme week. I bet none of you thought I had it in me to actually continue with the theme week. Usually I just give up. Um, but we're, it's, we're chugging along with this theme week. Thank you to Mike, by the way, for, uh, for getting these. Well, so you, you explained what, uh, what this beer is and give like I, probably just the cliff notes of, of what this theme week is because everyone watching should have already watched video one and two. Well, cliff notes is Sean has a new glass. Right, I, mean, I saw this glass last last few times. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, I I I I ordered um some beers from the brewery. Now this is theme week, but these videos are recorded like months apart. To be fair, <laughs> dude, <laughs> they're gonna notice when I have a beard in one and I'm clean shaven in one and I have a pipe like shadow in one. That you not, just ruin the magic. No, no magic. It's fine. And when one video, I'm 25 pounds lighter because I fluctuate weight like Rosie O'Donnell. I Listen, think the first one we did was like in July. Yeah. It's November. <laughs> so, no, but I, there, there was sort of, it was uh, sort of dessert donut inspired. Um, and even like Danny Trejo has a, a spot that was involved in, in this this whole um, it's this collaboration. One. Oh, fair enough. Got me good. <laughs> so, I, mean, I sort of realized this is Abuelitas. So, yeah. Um, it, it's a it's a fun little thing. It came in like a big donut box um, with um, it, had, it came with two glasses. It came with um, eight cans. Bless you. Bless you. So yeah, this is Abelita's special. This is the third video again. I watched the first. Two. You don't have to watch them in order, but. Um, there's no order. This is bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with cacao nibs, cacao powder, Madagascar vanilla beans, and cinnamon. This is uh, inspired by Trejo's donuts. So Danny, Danny Trejo. Um, Abuelita special is inspired by a very special donut made by our friends at Trejo's Donuts in Los Angeles. Abuelita is a raised, uh, sorry, yeah, a raised donut with dark chocolate and dark chocolate crumble. As soon as we tasted this delightful pastry, we knew it was a winner and set our minds toward uh, recreating it in a drinkable form, barrel aged style. It's his ideal serving temp, 55 degrees. It's been on the fridge some amount of time for me, not yeah. you, I guess. And um, well, I've been holding it for a while, like like double fisting it, so it should be good. I would say mine is definitely below that. But by, by the time we, we get into it, it'll, it'll be up at that time. Yeah. And um, I mean, I love these glasses. I think it's awesome. They oh, just and this look beer so is cool. also no, they do. This beer is also ten and a half percent. So I'm only going to give Carrie like a uh, drop. No. Not good. You want more? I don't like it. What? I don't like it. Not fair enough. Um. Yeah. So, if you look at the beer and you pour it like a man, that's what it looks like. I had to share it. Yeah. Well, I have plenty to share in my can, and I have a good yeah, pour. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely have a giant can. Touche. So um, it's it's not black, but it's a very dark brown. You are getting sort of those dark brown colors at the bottom. I know. I'm trying to look too. Um, I get two and a half fingers of like very rich, almost um, like a coffee color, like um, head. It's just, I have about it, it, a quarter of a finger, so it's cool. But it it's, it just looks it looks creamy. It looks luscious. It just has this very delectable kind of appearance. It does. But it has alcohol legs too. Oh, it's, oh dang. Oh, well, it's, uh, yeah, yeah it's almost 10 half percent. Touche. Um, yeah, no, sir. Oh my God. That's cinnamon and fudge. Yeah. And it, it, it has almost, I think it has almost a saltiness to it. You know, really, it, it makes me bit. think in a weird way, it sort of makes you think of the beach, like going to like Nose the fudge wise? shops and stuff. Yeah. Yep. But no, oh, as I say, coconut. You do, you're definitely no coconut getting coconut, right? I'm getting coconut, no, in, coconut in the nose. I'm getting coconut in the nose for sure though. This <clears> is the most not bonkers smell of the, of the three so far, I think. Like the most, you know, the other, the other two are kind of all over the place. This is the most contained, and it's still pretty. You know what I mean. 
what it smells like to me is, is almost like one of those those chocolate coconut donuts that you used to get at Dunkin' Donuts years ago. I don't know if you still oh, get them. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it, just, it's it, just it's just a chocolate donut with like coconut flakes. Yep. Shade there's coconut. no way they didn't put coconut in here. It, it is a major nose. Not just like a like, oh, I'm kind of getting coconut. It, it's a major part of the, the nose. That's so weird. But I, I, given all the all the all the shit that they put on the front of this can, like, why would they forget to add coconut? Maybe there's too much text already. Maybe. But yeah, you are getting fudginess. You are getting the cinnamon. You are getting vanilla. Um, I mean, I'm not quite getting like Madagascar vanilla. I'm thinking like you know another yeah. place that makes vanilla. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it is very, very. I mean, as far as you you are right, it is much more contained. It is much more. <laughs> it's reasonably constructed, I suppose. Yes, that's actually a good way to put it. Um, I want to get a, I want to get a taste though. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice. I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna say right now, this is my favorite. Dark chocolate fudge. Dark chocolate fudge. Yeah. Yep. It, but this and, is and I my think favorite. that, and I think that that's. Part of the thing is it's not that sweet. It is mm -hmm. dark. It's bitter. Um, not bitter in like espresso way. It's bitter like like Baker's chocolate. That 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 powder. That mm -hmm. you know. Although I just got a hint of espresso, but okay, a little. But cacao nibs and in, in, in cocoa powder. That's like where I guess like it's it's given that chocolateiness, but it's not too sweet. So it's given that that bitterness. This is. Really good. I was. I'm not gonna lie. After the first two, they were they were very they were good, but it was very uh, in very small amounts, and they were super super sweet, almost cloyingly sweet. Yep. This is. This is great. Now, it was sort of deliberate that the first two we did were the ones I was less sure about. Because you know what I mean. Um, but. Uh, at the same time, I mean, after those two, I was expecting this to be a little bit sweet, you know. But yeah. it, but it, it's it's actually quite good. It is fudgy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's malty, like almost like like whoppers, you know, the, 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 not the sandwich, mm -hmm. but the candy. Um, but it 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 has huge amounts of that dark chocolate in like a bittering kind of a way. So it, there's a lot of a lot of balance. You are getting to know you're getting like huge amounts of uh of uh, co coconut. Sorry, it's there. No, you it are. is what it is. And cinnamon, and the cinnamon's there too. Like, but you're right. It's weird. Like, there's got to be coconut in this. But I, I mean, it, it's it, it is immensely drinkable. Uh, and in you know, it's a, it, it's still a lot. It's still a lot. But the other beers are what I you know I I often say on this channel. Um, they're like beer fest beers. You get. An ounce and a half, mm -hmm. two ounces, like perfect. That's what we want. But like most of those to do eight or 16 ounces is a lot. You know, mm -hmm. this one here, I think eight or 10 ounces is completely, completely doable. You know? Yeah. I agree. And Carrie agrees too. <laughs> Carrie, what did you, what's your opinion overall? She just put a thumbs up. She's literally laying on the bed. It is what it is. Um, so, I mean, like, oh, what, what are you thinking as far as like, like the, the the balance and stuff? Like, what are you thinking there? I think it's it's very well balanced. Like, 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 and, and like I was saying, like the cacao nibs and the cocoa powder add to that chocolateiness, but it doesn't make it sweet. The vanilla is there, but it's not elevated vanilla. Like if like if Kyle was reviewing this, you'd hear the police sirens going, the vanilla police sirens going crazy. But the cinnamon, I, I love the like the coconut. Like as you're doing it on the palate, you get the chocolateiness. Then it gets the coconut and then the cinnamon spice hits the back palate as it finishes. Yep. And like, as it finishes, that's where the, for me, the espresso kind of comes in a little bit more. Yep. Um, I agree. And it yeah. has like, and the vanilla maybe kind of comes in more with the espresso too, because then it's almost like espresso with like cream and sugar or something like that, you know what I mean? Or like a, or a, a pump of vanilla. What I think about this mm -hmm. is for the flavor, it should be boozy and it's not. That's actually a good point. Oh. That's a very good point, Carrie. Barrel. Where's the barrel? I think it, I think there's a slight drying component, but there's not a lot of wood. You know what if I mean? You let it, 
if you kind of play with it a little bit on your mid palate, on the side of your palate, that's where the I, I'm getting barrel right there. Yeah, but sometimes, especially with with with, um, with cinnamon, especially if it's real cinnamon, not just that cinnamon sugar shit, I do get a sort of earthy, barrely kind of a yeah. component. And I wonder if that's contributing to a little bit of the vanilla as well. Sometimes you get yeah. that out of the barrel too. But I mean, for sure, this is not like obviously barrel aged. It's not like you take a sip like oh, I'll get all that oak, you know. But there's so many adjuncts here. So many adjuncts. Agreed. Yep. But I do think, I do think that this one is the most of so far, most like beer. Yes, hundred percent. It, it's the, not like most sugary. Drinkable. It's not sh- sugary, yeah. you know. It it has sweet components, but it's it it it's the most sort of <laughs> like it's a stout I, I I would consider buying again. The other two are like, oh, it's cool yep. to try. Fine, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I bought the box, but not something I would go again. Like this, something I would be like, oh, I could buy these, and it'd yep. be perfect in those little mini cans. Oh, the eight ounce cans, yeah, hundred percent, perfect. Yep, you know, but. Delicious. I, I'm, I'm really, really, this is the best one so far by, by, by a long shot, honestly. A million percent, a million percent. I totally agree with you there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I guess we love this beer. I want to know down in the comments, has anyone had Abuelita's special breweries, bourbon barrel age, imperial stout with cacao nibs, cocoa powder, Madagascar vanilla beans, and cinnamon coming in at 10 and a half percent inspired by Trejo's uh, donuts. Their uh, well, uh, Abuelita's donut, I guess is a, uh, the inspiration. Uh, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? Um, what do you think of brewery in general? They're they're pretty great. They make some pretty pretty great stuff. What are we gonna say? Do you know what abuelita means? I was just, I was just literally gonna say that. Oh. But I will say that after the camera. Grandmother. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. It, yeah. It's like sort of like it's a diminutized version of grandmother. Abuela is. Okay. I just want to oh, make sure yes. that you know because you're saying a- abuelita. This is not quite. Abuelita. Uh, but I'm saying like in the most American. <laughs> yeah. Abuela tita. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah that's, uh, that's fine. I just want to make sure. I know you took Spanish in high school. I'm just making sure. Yeah. I took Spanish answer? one and two, and Spanish one took me two years. Spanish two took me two years. I didn't want to say that part, although I did know that. Um, but yeah, down the comments. <laughs> um, and, and it's really funny that like freaking Danny Trejo, man. The funny thing is, I just played Far Cry Six Mission with Danny Trejo. He's everywhere, especially in cool. Con Air, and he's awesome in Con Air and uh, Con Desperado. Air is such a good movie. Oh, Desperado too. Yeah, you great machete, machete, machete. <laughs> Anyways, before this gets way too long, down in the comments, what do you think of this? Did you get the donut box? What's your favorite one out of that? Be on the lookout for number four. Which which one is that, Mike? It. I I don't remember. Honestly, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I know. Hey, I, I don't remember either. I bought the box like eight months ago. What am I supposed yeah. to do? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, be on the lookout for the last one. Um, actually, don't be on the lookout for it. This is theme week, baby. Next video release, this is coming out. So look forward tomorrow. Look forward to my beard being different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll probably do that in like four months. Anyways, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those are things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you're notified when we post new videos. And I'm Sean, that's Mike, and Carrie's over there playing with a tripod. This is Nerd Sense. <laughs>